Good afternoon. Thanks for joining me. My name is Jason, and I'm here to tell you about a tip for focus stacking with Infuse that may improve your results. But what is focus stacking? Focus stacking is taking a set of images with different focal planes and combining them to get a greater depth of field. There are two main commercial programs to do this, Helicon Focus and Zerene Stacker. Both programs do a fairly good job of focus stacking. Let me show you an example. Here, I've taken several pictures of a sad-looking dead flower, and I'm going to focus stack them so you see how sad and dead this flower really is. I've used the trial version of Helicon Focus to obtain this result. Zerene Stacker also gives a similar result. Both look pretty good. Is it possible to focus stack using an open source program? In fact, the Hug and Panorama Stitcher has two tools that you can use to focus stack. They're Align Image Stack and Infuse. You first have to use Align Image Stack on your images in order to make sure they are fully aligned. This is important even if you're shooting on a tripod because very subtle movements can cause misalignment. Align Image Stack is very good and does not produce any problems. The output of the program is a series of TIFF files, which you can then pass to Infuse using the command line in order to stack your images. This is the final result using Infuse. However, there's a slight difference between this output and the output of either Helicon Focus or Zerian Stacker. Namely, the output of Infuse has haloing. That is, there are these halos around sharp edges in the image. These halos are unsightly and make me want to throw this image in the trash. Unfortunately, it is very difficult to fix these halos automatically using the different options of Infuse. One option is increasing the contrast window size. Using a value of 21, for example, over 7 does seem to make the halos less apparent. However, it never fully gets rid of them, and making this value too large starts to introduce other artifacts. There is another somewhat quick way to reduce the halos, but it's a little less automatic. Let me tell you about it now. If you go back to the standard options of Infuse for focus stacking, you'll notice that the contrast weight is 1, whereas the exposure weight and the saturation weight are 0. This makes sense for focus stacking because if you use a positive value for exposure weight or saturation weight, this will actually decrease the detail in your image and make it look equally unsightly. However, let's not completely abandon this idea. It is true that by making the saturation weight positive, you'll make your image less detailed. However, you also eliminate the halos or at least greatly reduce them. Thus, we make two stacks. First one with the saturation weight zero, and the second with a positive saturation weight of 0.4. Now we can take the two stacks and import them into the GIMP as two layers. You can, of course, use another image editing program such as Photoshop to do this as well, but since Photoshop is cursed, I refuse to use it. In any case, take the layer with the saturation weight of zero and place it on top. Now add an alpha channel. This alpha channel is added so that when you use an eraser, you can erase the image and reveal the bottom layer. By using the eraser around just the most prominent halos, you can severely reduce or even eliminate the halo effect while keeping the details of the image from the stack using saturation weight zero. Even though these two stacks come from exactly the same source images, sometimes the exposures may not be exactly the same for both stacks. To fix it, erase a part of your image and use the tone curve to match exposures across both your stacks. Now you can use the eraser tool to eliminate the most prominent halos. Although this won't remove all the haloing effects, it will bring your image a lot closer to what you can achieve with Zerene Stacker or with Helicon Focus. After plenty of experience with all three programs, if I were frequently stacking, I would still probably want to get Zerene Stacker or Helicon Focus. However, if you just need a stack once in a while, Infuse might be a good option. And if you're willing to do a bit of manual work, you can often get results that are almost or just as good. I hope you enjoyed this tip for focus stacking with Infuse, and I'll see you again next time.